So in this video, we have a uniform ladder of length 12.5 meters and mass 48 kilos rests with its top against a smooth wall and its foot on rough ground, 3.5 meters from the base of the wall. Find the frictional and reaction forces at the base of the ladder. Okay, so let's start with the diagram. So here is my wall, here is my floor, here is the ladder. Now the ladder is uniform and it's of 12.5 metres, so that means that its weight will act through the centre. So this distance would be 6.25 metres and that distance would be 6.25 metres. It's got a mass of 48 kilos, so it has a weight of 48 g. Now it's resting with its top against a smooth wall. There will be a normal reaction force here, so Rw, but there's no frictional force. Its foot is against rough ground, so there will be a normal reaction force Rf, and a frictional force which is going to be acting to the left, and so I'll call that FR. Now that distance from here, so let's call that uh, O, and this distance, uh, sorry, to that point, let's call that A, and that is 3.5 metres. Okay. Find the frictional and reaction forces at the base of the ladder. So I want to find FR and RF. Right, so let's start by resolving vertically. I'm going to take upwards as positive. Now, we have two forces acting vertically. We've got the RF and the 48G. So RF take away 48G must be zero. So the reaction on the floor is 48 g newtons. Right, let's resolve uh, horizontally next. I'm going to take to the left as positive because I want to find the friction. So the friction um, is going to the left, but going to the right is Rw, so take away Rw is zero. So that means that the friction is equal to Rw, whatever that is. So we now need to work out what Rw is. Now I've exhausted uh, my options resolving forces, so now I'm going to take moments. So let's take moments about point A. Now the thing about this problem is that, and what can be a little bit disconcerting, is that I don't know the angle. The angle that the ladder makes with the base. However, I was given the information of how long the ladder was and the distance from uh, the wall to the base, which was 3.5 metres. So you could, throughout this problem, work out that angle fairly easily using a bit of trick. Um, so cosine of the angle must be equal to 3.5 over 12.5, and then you could work with that angle. Alternatively, we could just think of using these distances because the whole point of finding, if we take moments about point A, I need to know the distance from A to the perpendicular line of action of 48G. Now, 48G is working downwards and it continues going downwards. Okay, that's its line of action. So I need that distance there. Now, seeing as the rod was uniform, and this is acting through the centre of the rod, that means that distance must be half of 3.5. So it's got to be 1.75 metres there. And it's going around in an anti-clockwise motion, and so that would be 1.75 times by 48g. OK, so I can utilise that. Now I need to get up here to the RW force. Now, that line of action continues, and I can bring that up, that makes a right angle triangle. So really, I want to find that distance. Now, seeing as that's 12.5, and that's 3.5, I can work out 
this distance here using Pythagoras' theorem. So that would be the square root of 12.5 squared take away 3.5 squared, which is 12. So that's 12 metres. So that distance is 12 metres. And that's going around in a clockwise motion. So take away 12 times Rw is equal to 0. So that implies that Rw is... So 1.75 times by 48, then divide that by 12, and that'd be 7g. So therefore, the friction must be 7g newtons. Now, if you want to round that, uh, sorry, if you want to put g as 9.8 in, then you're going to get 68 0.6 newtons there, and 48 times 9.8 is 470.4 newtons there.